For these questions, we're going to compare each fraction to a half. So we see on number one, we have six twelfths, and we're comparing it to one half. So I can think about the fraction six twelfths and know that it has 12 parts. And then in my mind, I can think, where would the halfway point of twelfths be? Well, on this model, you can see in the orange, we have 12 parts. The exact halfway point is going to match up with the exact halfway point of a fraction that shows two pieces. In this case, we see that six pieces is exactly one half. So for our fraction, we can write 6 twelfths equals 1 half. You can see that they're exactly equal. So let's look at number 2. For number 2, we have 1 half, and we're comparing it to 6 tenths. So here I see that we have 1 half, and down here I see that this is a model for 6 tenths. So I can tell by looking that 6 tenths is greater than 1 half. But you won't always have the model, so what you can do is think of where would half be? Well, half of 10 is 5, so the halfway point would be 5 pieces, as you can see right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And since 6 pieces is greater than 5 pieces, we know that 6 tenths is going to be greater than a half. On number 3, we have 2 fourths and 1 half. Well, all we have to do is think about two-fourths. Well, where is the halfway point of fourths? So the halfway point of fourths is two, because it takes two twos to make four, or four divided by two is two. So this means that two-fourths is exactly one-half. So let's do another one. On number four, we have five-sixths and one-half. So what I need to do is think about 5, 6 and ask myself, where's the halfway point for 6? So to get halfway to 6, you have to get all the way to 3. Well, this fraction is past the halfway point because you only have to get to 3 to get to halfway, and that went to 5. So that means 5, 6 is greater than a half. So let's look at number 5. If we think about number 5, we see the fraction 3 fifths. So if you want to find out where the halfway point of a fifth is, it's a little bit trickier because it's not going to be a whole number. Since five is odd, it won't break into half evenly. So the halfway point of a fifth would be two and a half. If we look at a model, we can see why this is. Here are five pieces. Well, the halfway point would be right there. So you can see to get half of fifths, it takes two holes and another half. So two and a half fifths is the halfway point. So three is more than two and a half, so we know that three fifths is more than a half. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.